Hey Thick My Dam Squad, welcome back to my channel. It's Mika, Miss Thick My Dam. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment down below. And also, don't forget to turn on those post notifications. So every time I upload a new video, you will be the first to know. So guys, okay, I just had to come on here and give you a little hair video because I've been promising. I was going to just do a little quick hair tutorial, but I wanted to do a natural one because I don't think I did a natural video since last year, July. Also, just a length check to see, let you guys see an update on how my natural hair is growing and guys it is really growing <laughs> as you can see I also did a little quick makeup in this video um, just trying to get my little glam on and this is something you girls can do a quick look that you can do to go out or maybe to work or you know maybe a night out for the weekend you know just weekend just something that give you guys some ideas that you can do with your natural hair so let's get to this video boom so right now I'm just pretty much going in and uh, taking out my twist my uh, two strand twist because I did wash my hair the night before and did this two strand twist I will also do like a video um, just to update it uh, hair wash routine video um, so I can also show you guys how I'm growing my natural hair um, my shrinkage is real just to let you guys know so at the end I think I'm gonna start plucking out I, I think you see in the beginning I was pulling the strands of my hair just so you guys can see that my hair is longer than what it probably looks like because I have a lot of shrinkage um, but it's okay you know because it's not it's not really right now so much of I have to show my length of my hair I'm more focused on the health of my hair so that it can continue to grow and I know a lot of you ladies out there will agree with me and some of you men probably will agree with me <laughs> get the healthy part down right and then everything else will fall into place that's how it goes even with your body get the healthy part done um, correct address the healthy part getting yourself healthy whether that be your hair or your body and everything else will fall into place as far as the weight loss right so that's what I'm doing right now I'm just taking the two strand twists out I took a lot of it out already just to because I know y'all guys don't want me to see me here for about an hour it took about an hour this video is not in real time <laughs> but it took a minute to get a lot of these twists out of my hair because I kind of did it smaller so it can curl more I have about a four type, maybe like a, I think I have like a four, I want to say a four B and four C hair type. So my curl pattern is real tight. So um, yeah, I gotta take my time. I take my twist out and then pull it apart. So, <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here in this clip. And please excuse my little noisy baby in the background. Sorry about that. So right now I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to style it. I wasn't sure if I was going to make these do like a bang or a twist or something in the front. So I'm just, just pretty much going through my hair, taking everything out and just trying to figure out how I'm going to style it. So that's what I'm doing right here guys. I'm going to let you just enjoy the video and I will be back. How you make me change like I'm better off
trying out that equal style and gel it's okay I really don't like the um the olive the olive oil uh, gel because it has that crunchy it gives like I don't know it just has a very funny dry crunchy flaky uh, feel to it once it dries so um, I'm gonna try the um the, the Jamaican back castro I think that's the other one they have it's another brand they have that somebody else said that it leaves your hair feeling soft. You don't have that that after the feeling after it dries. So I just don't like it. Um, you know, I, it would have to be once in a while I might use it. Maybe you know, if I run out of something, I might have to use it. But for the most part, I won't be using that one. So that was just a big mistake of getting that. I should have. It's my first time trying it, so I didn't know it was like that. So so I'm just moving on now to my makeup and. Y'all have seen me do my makeup more than once if y'all are OGs. It's nothing new. However, I do want to say I still cannot find a lot of my makeup. I don't know what I did. I just, that's the only thing downside about moving. Stuff still gets lost no matter how organized you try to be when you're packing. Because I still can't find my the pencil I usually use to uh, darken my eyebrows. So I will have to go get some more of that this week. Um, I'm gonna probably try try the outrun gels. I found one at the beauty supply store that it looks kind of interesting, so I might go ahead and try it and then let you guys get you guys know how it looks or how it turns out, or maybe I'll just do it on camera and we both can see it with the results are together. But that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just doing my eyebrows and I'm just working hard, guys. So don't judge me. It is looking kind of thick. I'm gonna get it all together. But again, I don't have the actual. Uh, pencil that I use that I can't find that kind of I use to define my eyebrows and I can go back in and you know um, conceal it and stuff I didn't have all that so I just had to do a lot of work to try to get it looking the way I'm used to having it when I do my makeup so that's what I'm doing right now I'm putting my primer on my face I'm not gonna talk through this whole video or everything because like I said before I do today my first time doing a makeup video <laughs> it's a quick video just put my makeup on um, and the video wasn't so much made just for you to see me do a makeup look it was mainly for you to see how you can do a quick little natural hair look pop on your little makeup and go and look cute with your natural hair yes and again this video is for you know women that want to do natural hair looks but don't really know how and maybe have that type of hair I have that 4B, 4C hair um, with major shrinkage tight curls and just don't know what to do and how to do it to make it look good especially when they just want to take a break from the wigs and the weaves you know and the braids so that's what this video is for uh, mainly um, you know and the people that are interested in going natural and maybe have my type of my hair type curl pattern type so but I'll tell you one thing guys my hair has grown so much 
so so much and I'm now having embraced as I'm doing this video editing it and doing the voiceover stuff I have it embraced now I'm gonna challenge myself to leave them in now I still will wash my hair I don't know why people have this misconception that when you have braids in a long time people don't wash their hair now nah, people still wash their hair <laughs> it actually is better when you do have it twisted or braided and you wash it so that you have less breakage so I don't know what that misconception comes from but still I will be washing my hair and stuff and you know maybe braiding the ends just to make sure the ends don't tangle up but for the most part I'm going to keep it braided I'm going to try to keep it in for about two to three months yeah because I know my hair does grow faster when I'm doing less manipulation to it and letting my give my my hair not a uh, chance to uh grow from its natural oils my natural oils as long as I keep my scalp clean and stuff like that so and away from um from building up the product and stuff and sweat and other stuff so but yeah for the most part I'm going to challenge myself to do it I've done it before and I know that's how I know my hair grows so I'm going to do it again and really see how long I can get this natural hair to grow in the next year next two years actually I really don't want to put no. I really don't want to do a bone straight press in it as well until I get it, you know, to grow out a lot. But back to the makeup. So as you can see, guys, again, I'm not gonna talk this part through because I did it more than once, <laughs> and it's not really a tutorial for that. I'm just doing my eyebrows. I wasn't even supposed to do my well, eyebrows. Excuse me. I wasn't supposed to do my uh, eyeshadows like this. I was supposed to do the simple, but. Girls, you know how it is sometimes when you get into your palette and you haven't did makeup in a while, you just you get carried away, you know. And I haven't did, I haven't put any makeup on my face since September. That's crazy, right? Like the most I probably do is like fix my eyebrows, but I haven't did any makeup. Not even popped on any lashes. Like I just been I don't know, <laughs> just going completely natural no makeup just making sure my face is clean clear my eyebrows is a little shaped you know and and it's times I didn't even make sure that was there <laughs> I mean I was just listen I was going through it y'all don't judge me <laughs> and I'm not an everyday makeup girl anyway so it just it, it comes naturally sometimes if I just don't wear makeup I mean what I do want to start doing again is doing my individual lashes because Sometimes even when I want to go out and do something or dress up, you know, I don't want to go out with a full face of makeup, full face pledge of makeup on my face and foundation and stuff. Because first of all, I don't have bad acne skin, thank God. So I really don't need full coverage like that. So it's not necessary for me to have a full face of foundation and this on my face, not on my face. I, I have all the combination skin. Some areas could dry during certain seasons. But for the most part, I sweat a lot and I do have oily skin. So I don't want the time want to wear makeup. So I just need to get back into making sure my eye, my eyebrows grow because that's the main features I like my face to look good. And start popping on my lashes more and maybe just do individuals like I used to because I don't have time all day, every day when I want to go out popping on strips. So I'd rather just put extensions. And I'm... I'm a pro at distinctions. I've been doing it before it was even popular like that. <laughs> Ask anybody that know me know I was I was I was doing the um the lashes way before this became popular on YouTube. You better ask somebody. <laughs> I think my damn was a trendsetter. Still is a trendsetter. How about that? <laughs> but yeah, um, so that is, you know, what I'm doing right here, getting the makeup part done because I just I wanted to put some makeup on I was looking cute and I haven't worn makeup in a while but um like I was saying as far as the natural look go uh, I'm just gonna focus on growing my eyebrows and more I'm also gonna try to start focusing growing my eyelashes in because that's my next thing I want to see if I can grow out longer so I don't have to all the time wear forces uh individuals as well and um you know individual a call it now we used to just call it individuals back in the days. Now they call it lash extensions and all, all the fancy stuff. But individual extensions on my lashes. Um, and I want to see how I can grow that out so I can eventually maybe just rock my natural face 
maybe every now and then contour a little bit, you know, just to bring it nice and in, and sh you know, shapely, shape it out a little more. And, you know, or not even that, just pop on some skin cream. Make sure my eyebrows is in check. A little mascara on my eyelashes to define my longer eye, my longer eyelashes once I get them to grow out. And go. That's all. But my whole point why I'm saying this because I don't feel like I don't want a girl at watches, especially young girls, thinking that you need to all the time uh, leave out the house with a full face of makeup on just to feel beautiful. And that's not the case at all. And I know some um, YouTubers don't talk about that, but it's true. And you see my little mom in the background. She just needs some attention. That's why you had to pick her up real quick. <laughs> Now I got her over there playing with my makeup brush, so she's over here imitating me in the background. You can't see her, but I see her. That's why I'm laughing. But you don't I don't want that misconception of young women thinking that, you know. Because I've heard people say in YouTubers of uh, makeup YouTubers, or not even just makeup, just people in, in general that do these videos. You hear sometimes they say, Oh, I put my face on, or hey Levi, I feel like I don't want people to think women young women young girls to think that you need to do all this to feel beautiful all this is just a enhance it's just one day when you feel like you feel like being more colorful and then you go out days that you don't feel like being so you just want to just go out wash your face make sure you be clean you're clean and go out and still feel beautiful so just that confidence has to come and you have to know that because you don't want to have to feel like you gotta have this pounds of makeup on your face just that's just not the way to go and it's not good for your skin if all the time not letting your, your pores breathe because you're just pounding up so much makeup on you so so that's why you see sometimes I come on and I have no makeup on I don't have my eyebrows but I'm just looking natural loving the skin that I that I'm in so and when you love the skin that you're in you can love that skin when it's painted up <laughs> Or when it's not. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just doing my highlights. Guys, don't judge me. I'm not no makeup expert, but I really can do makeup. I've been doing it for years. I think I'm good at it. Very good at it. And I make some things work, but I don't have other things, you know. I'm I'm old school, so you know. I'm from this generation that uh you know, we was using, uh, and we didn't have all the time, uh, makeup, uh, eyeshadow, or can afford all these eyeshadows. You took some lipstick and you make eyeshadow colors out of it, you know. So I come from that era, <laughs> you know. So, um, I can make it work, and I'm not new to this. So I'm just getting it together, and again. My eyebrows, guys, was challenging because I didn't have what I really use, what I like to use. So I would just, you know, feel like I need to go over a little bit areas because it was, it just wasn't the right pencil that I used for my eyebrows to fill my and darken my eyebrows up a little more. But you guys, the good thing is my eyebrows are coming back because my hair is growing and it's growing everywhere. So good thing is my eyebrows are starting to come in because if you remember last year, if you watched all the videos, I was complaining about that and it's telling you guys, I don't know where my eyebrows went. Well, they are starting to grow and more and get more full like they used to. So that's great because then I won't need to do all this extra work to my eyebrows or shaping it and all this other stuff I need to do just to get it to look right when I put makeup on or just, you know, anyway. Well, even I don't, because sometimes, like I said, when my eyebrows are right, I'm able to shape them the way I want to do them, maybe take a little concealer and just make them look more arch, and have my eyelashes on, put my little, pop my little uh, lip gloss on, and I'm out the door, so I don't do the makeup thing every day. So. But guys, that's about it. I'm just getting last of this done. Right now, I'm just, you know, getting the uh, mascara routine together so I can put my strips on. But, listen, comment down below, guys, if you want me to do another video of me doing individual lashes. Uh, especially, you know, I think the quality now is even better and the lighting that I have is better than I had when I first did the first video. 
so I will be happy happy to do another uh, eyelash uh, tutorial in the visuals eyelashes I will be happy to do that for you guys so, it won't come this week but we'll fit it in some time for next month uh, maybe to do a video but just please comment let me know and that is the final look honeys and I am done my face is all together and it's going perfect with my hairdo my natural hairdo so guys if you like what I did make sure you share the video don't forget to comment down below give me some video suggestions and we are gonna just go from there until you later stay blessed stay beautiful as always smooches Try to talk about